What's up, everyone? This is uh, Dr. Webb here. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about how to uh, do well on step one. Um, and first, I want to um, preface it by saying that um, a lot of people talk about step one scores, how important they are, uh, which I do think that, that, that scores are very important. However, there are instances where and times where um, applicants get subject to certain specialties with uh, you know lower scores. So that is probably the most important part of your application. With that being said, there are times when um, you don't have a, a very high score, and um, you can still you know reach your particular goal. For number one, I think to do well on step one, you must do well during your first two years. And the majority of step one comes from your first and second year material. Uh, so if you do well in those classes, that's going to be better prepare you for um, step one. Number two is basically preparation. And what I mean by preparation, I, I mean just having a solid plan from the moment that you decide to study for step one um, to the time that you take it. And I actually started in my second year. Uh, I started over Christmas break. Uh, we didn't take our step one, I believe, until March or April. So what I did was <clears throat> each night I uh, started doing questions, um, the U World questions. Um, and um, each night I did those questions. And then I reviewed my uh, first aid. And while I was going through second year, I wrote notes in my first aid because first aid doesn't have everything that you need to know for uh, step one. Um, it's very brief so as if you fill in the notes important things that you think are important during lecture I think when it comes back to studying that that will um, actually help you a lot uh, so I took a Kaplan review course and I started it from January and I divided up the lectures to April uh, in my uh, uh, second year so if there were 30 Kaplan review course lectures online I maybe did, I don't know, maybe two or three lectures per evening, and I did that in addition to my uh, normal uh, second year material. Um, so by the time I actually sat down and studied for the six weeks for uh, step one, I had already completed a review course and I had already done about 2,000 questions, the UROD questions. It's a lot, but I know that if you want to be successful, you want to match into your particular field of choice, uh, you're going to have to work hard to get that particular score. For my six weeks of studying for actual step one, the um, first four weeks I actually did uh, basically nothing but questions. And I added a program called Pathoma, which I believe is the uh, kind of the best program out there. It's just pathology, and that's what most of the uh, step one is. So um, I, I did that, and I did questions. And I think the more questions you do, the higher your score will be. Uh, so if the person sitting next to you does 500 questions and you do 1,000, most likely you're going to have a higher score. So I think in order to do well in step one, first you have to do well in first and second year. That's the foundation. And then second, you have to develop a plan. You have to be very specific in your plan and just write it out. This is what I'm going to do this day. This is what I'm going to study this day. This is the course I'm going to take. Um, and if it's not working for you, try something else. Um, and lastly, like I said before, step one does not mean everything, even though it's the most important part of your application. There are times when um, we, even in our program, we take uh, applicants who have lower scores just because they work hard or they have letters of recommendations that I take up for it. So um, study hard, you guys can do it. Step one is just a uh, milestone in your uh, kind of quest to becoming a uh, physician and get into your field of uh, choice. Uh, any more questions, you can always uh, email me at overcomingtheoddsbook at gmail.com or my website, antoniowebmd.com. Thank you, guys. See you next time.